Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio, how are you? Uh, today is day 59 of the 100 Day Craft Project, and I don't know if I said it the other day when I had to do all these in a rush, but I didn't do Merry Monday, and I'm not doing Twisted Tool Tuesday today, um, nor will I do them next week, but I'll resume after I get back. So it is, um, you're just going to have to use your, we'll use our, we'll use tools today, but not nothing special nothing that we haven't used already um uh, let me give out my beautiful blessings then we'll get going here um as you can probably tell since this video is late i am still late i am exhaustedly tired <laughs> and i am almost done though i have got a lot of product you guys i'm so excited to set up my table and um i will be sharing it with all of you um I'm almost ready to go, you know, that where you just, uh, you know, kind of, should I bring this or should I bring that kind of mode? So I'm I'm still going. I'll, it's going to be a late night for me, and I'll probably be arriving at my sister's tomorrow at around 2 o'clock. It does take me a good two and a half hours to get there, so I am, um, I'm ready. I'm ready as I'll ever be, so I just have to be ready. Um, beautiful blessings too. If it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Also, I'm Donna Twist, Twisted Paper Studio. Um, I'm doing the 100 Day Craft Challenge. I do normally do longer videos, so if you're just here seeing this video, take a look around. There's so many videos. Um, subscribe if you like my content. Hit the like button. Comment. Tell me hello. Um, I give beautiful blessings each and every video to those I see that have commented. Um, I can't go, you know, far and wide and look, and if you don't comment and you subscribe to my channel, I don't really know it, you're even there. So if you do comment, I could see you. And with that being said, um, beautiful blessings to 18 Acres Homestead. Thank you for coming over here from Leslie. Beautiful blessings to Leslie over at 507 Willow House Journals. Um, beautiful blessings to Annette DePete. And uh, let's see, beautiful blessings to Lori Riddle, Tasha Bragg Shaw, and beautiful blessings to Amy K. Thank you guys so much. You always are commenting on my channel. You're very supportive and I'm very appreciative. So I'm going to do something here. I took out my twall kit. I took out a few things because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. This has been on my desk for quite a few days. So let me just um, move it over. And I think what I'm just going to do quickly, quickly, as quick as I can, show you how I create uh, envelopes with a whole with a whole page. So you have I have a whole page in a um, portrait and a whole page in a vertical um, print. So we're going to um, just get started. Yeah. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all well. Now I'm going to bring this over to just about here, like that. And it all depends on how big you want your envelope. I'm going to use the whole sheet just so I... Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe we will do it in the small in the smaller. Let me just do that. It doesn't quite matter. Something's printing out of my machine, and I don't even know why it's printing. I didn't send anything to print. So I folded this over like this, giving it a lip. It all depends on where you want your... How big you... How big, how wide do you want your envelope? So this is about one, two, three, four and a quarter. Let me check my printer because I don't know why something's printing and I want to cancel it if I don't need it. Okay. Well, I just took that all that time to register. I canceled it. Okay. So... Um, depending upon how wide you want your envelope, you got you have to keep that into consideration. Take it, take it into consideration. So this is about four and a, like a little quarter. This back part right here. So I'm giving a lip on this side. I probably won't keep it that long. Probably won't. Okay, and then. I have this side over here that I'm gonna fold over. So I'm gonna get rid of the excess everywhere. I'm gonna get rid of the excess here, which we did say this was four and a quarter, so I'll probably just make it about a four. And then now it could fold over and glue 
on there. And we'll give this, I'm just gonna go just a tiny bit less. Okay, let's go back and look at it again. So with, with this folded over and then this folded over, you can now attach this. It could be the back of the envelope. This could be the front. And if you want it to meet, well, you could do it differently than I did. <laughs> I'm going to have it meet. How's that? So it'll be a little bit less. And I don't mind all these extra folds in my paper. I really don't. I don't at all. All right. The next step is to, to give yourself a bottom. Because you're going to have to cut all this out now. So we're folding along the bottom as straight as we can because sometimes you know folding a, a shorter piece of paper it goes crooked sometimes most times <laughs> oh my goodness all of a sudden just got hot trying to just get it straight all right so there's our bottom fold and our reason for this is because we want it to come up <laughs> if I can get the dang thing straight and it doesn't help that I'm sweating all right so now I'm going to take it and I'm just gonna clip in there like that so I'm gonna the fold the piece that I'm folding over I'm gonna take off the bottom you need I gotta put on my glasses and because I put so many fold lines in this let's see if we can get it straight and creased to the right one. It's okay if it's a little off. There's nothing you can do. I think it's a lot more than a little off, but there's nothing we can do. Okay. So now, when this folds over, if it's really off and it's horrible, just refold it. And I'm, I, at this point, I'm not restarting this video. Normally, I would because I'm talking to myself way too much and and um, messing up a lot. But you know what? That's what we do. We mess up in our craft rooms. Don't let the world fool you. Fool you. We all mess up. Okay. There we go. Straighter. All right. So now, this is meeting over here. Then you have this on the bottom now that's cut. Now we have to take care of this side. So all I'm going to really do is just full cut it like this. There we go. Then I can cut this over. And I cut it exactly where it crossed, where the folds cross. So if you're new to paper crafting and you fold and you fold, you get like a, an imaginary little X there. That's where I cut it diagonally, right on the X part. So now, this is all beautiful and wonderful. You can do so many things with this. You can, you can trim the top off and make it pretty with decorative scissors to make it like a little bag for inside your book. You could print it out in vellum so it's clear and do the same thing so it's, so it's a little bag then also. And or you can make it into an envelope, which I think that's what we will do. So you can make it a tall envelope with a with a flap. You can you can put on a flap on here. You can put a flap on here into the back. Um, let me see if I have anything over here to show you. You can make a flap to put back here, right? And then when you're closing it, it'll just close and you have the whole paper here. So I could do that. I'm not sure that I will. Let me see. Maybe we could do it with this. Why not? We could do it with this. All right, so we. I'll do that. Or also, let me show you. You can also fold it down this way even to make it shorter and make it a little short, chunky envelope in your book. You can do whatever you want. So once this is closed and folded and glued up, it could become a bag. It, be, 
or it could become an envelope. Now you don't, if you're making it into an envelope, you don't want to fold it and glue everything first. First you want to crease it and, and fold it downward and do all that. And then you got to cut where you folded. So if it's going to be an envelope, you're going to be cutting your front parts off and leaving your back because your back is going to fold down. Okay, does that make sense? Um, so your front parts are going to be the ones that are cut. But I'm actually going to add this on. Why not? Let's do that. Let's do it. So we said this was how many inches is this now? Because I made it a bit smaller. Is it still four and a quarter? Yeah, how can I make it smaller and it's still four and a quarter? But that's okay. It's four and a quarter. So let's do that with the trimmer. We'll cut this little piece here. This is in the... Um, Oh, what is it in? It is in the, uh, <laughs> one of my kits. I said it yesterday. Don't mind me. I'm at a loss in my words. So four, oh, four and a quarter. Look, it's going to be a little, oh, am I even going to get this at four and a quarter? Sugar. Maybe we'll have to do it this way. We might do it this way because, um, that's too short. Too short. Okay. So let's do it this way at four and a quarter. There we go. Um, actually, I'm probably, because I'm going to be putting it inset, probably just going to have to take a tiny bit off. Yeah, I am. So let's do just a tiny bit at first and then see where we're at. So, okay. Let's see where we're at now. And all I'm going to do is place it back here like that so that I can fold it. So let me let me take this line and fold it here and give it the fold. Look at that. And I think that's going to fit perfectly in there. And I'm just going to go like this and check it. Oh, yeah, look how pretty, you guys. Oh, I love it. What do you know? Serendipity for me. It's been serendipity for me the past few days for sure. <laughs> I, I really did not plan that at all. Nope, I didn't. But that's okay. Things work out like that, huh? All right, so let me get this glue rolling here. Where did I just put the needle? Yeah, so you guys, I am... I'm ready to go as I'll ever be. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I haven't seen my friends. I know I was supposed to go up at Christmas time. I hurt my back, so I wasn't able to go. So I haven't seen them. Um, I'm excited to see them. I'm excited to see my sister. So I haven't seen her since January. And I'm just, I'm really excited. <laughs> Although I won't see her too much. Um, you know, I'll just, I actually will see her when she gets home, but that's okay. I'll be, I'll be there in Pennsylvania. I haven't been there. So I'm going to line this up here on the inside with my fold on the paper and my glue. And I'm going to get a card and just do that up. There we go. And now, I could glue along the edge there. And you could use your glue stick and all that stuff. So I'm going to cut a little here like this. Just a little, not much, just so that you can get in and out of the envelope. There. And then we will go ahead and do the same thing. Let's see. I always get this wrong. Um, let me do, let me just check this because I always get it wrong, you guys. And you know how I, I go to get it right? Well, this is reaching. Let me see. Is it reaching and touching? Yes. Okay. So, if I want to really get this groove in here right, I fold it. I cheat. I fold it. I don't mind the fold. And I put that little fold in right there, just like that. I cheat, you guys, I know. I'm sorry. And then I and then I come up here and I just get it right there. Like that. And now 
it's like the perfect um, thing right there. <laughs> it's perfect. And then if you want to, because we did that part there, maybe we can um, cover it with collage. I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's just do it. We don't need all of it, so I'm just going to get a piece of it. Um, where's my book page stuff? Okay, and I'm going to glue that on as the... Oh, wow, what happened to you? I haven't used it in quite a few days, so it's probably saying, hey, I'm melting. <laughs> it's been hot here. Whew, today it was almost 80 degrees here. Although, um, I only had to run to the post office, so I didn't really get out much. Okay, I'm putting this right here so it covers that. And there's something pretty to look at on the inside. And then, of course, you could do the whole top, but I just am collaging it there. Okay, now we're going to take this and glue, 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 glue. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, glue. We're gluing. You could use your glue stick, too, but I'm not. Huh. And then close it over. Make sure it goes down all the way to where you had it. Okay. Now, for some reason, my first fold is not sticking that over to the side like that. Okay. It was a, so it looks a little crooked, but it's not. <laughs> and then you're going to take your bottom. And fold that up like that. And you could do it to the back side too. I did it to the front. It's up to you. And there's a flap. Look at that. I love it. And then you could even take one of these new label things. Ooh, look at that one. Put that on there. Imagine filling this up with ephemera, you guys. Okay, let me get a piece of book page. Oh, I need a little bit thicker book page here. Here we go. I don't need that. Here, it's this one. And I'm, I'm just going to thicken this up a little bit because it's only on printed paper here. Um, like that. Okay, and I'm going to quickly cut it out with my Brenda scissors. Oh, wait, I'm leaving a border of white. I don't want that. So that's how to make some envelopes with your own paper. Fun, fun, fun way to do it. All right. <clears throat> oh, I love that. How did I do that? I don't even know. So I'm going to glue this up really good here. Sometimes I amaze myself. I really do. Okay. And then I'm going to stick it on here right in the center. Not, I only glued the bottom. I didn't glue the top because the top is going to be to close it, you guys. Okay. And then this will lift up and put it, and then you could put it back down. Pretty. All right. And then uh, we're already at 20 minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. However, I'm not going to do this whole thing with you because it's going to take me another 20 minutes. 
But I am going to show you that for the vertical way, you do it the same exact way. And what I did, what I'll, I'll do it differently this time. What I'll do is get my size first. So, well, we all know this is eight and a half, so it's really only going to be a four inch, right? A four inch. So I'm going to go over, just leave. Oh, no, that's not what I do. Let me do it different. Hold on. I'm going to get my flap first. That's what I'm going to do. My flap first. So I'm doing my flap first. If you do your flap first, <clears throat> your other part will meet. Okay, so my flap is done first. Now I'm going to go over and meet it on the flap so that it's there. It's been a bit. It's been a bit, you guys. Okay, there we go. Like that. So... Here we go. This is a vertical envelope. Now you're going to do the same exact thing that we did down here. You're going to fold it up. You're going to cut all that out. And then for here, you can do the same exact thing or you can fold it down, but it's going to be now a longer envelope. So you can fold it down like this. So it's just a longer, taller envelope for your tall, skinny journals, you guys. And then here, I'll do this quickly just to show you what I would do. So there is my front now because that's coming forward. And this time what I'll do is I could fold it. I could, so if I don't want the fold here, I could fold this backwards and I'll just cut. I'm going to cut the, I will leave the front and cut the middle out so that it folds backwards so you don't see the fold on the envelope. And then here, you want to cut the back off. So, I mean, sorry. Shh, don't listen to me. Cut the front off and leave the back. So you'll do the same thing. You're going to cut here like that. And then this is going to be a horrible job, you guys, because I'm rushing. And then you're going to cut here like that. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to cut down your line here. So you're leaving the back of the envelope intact. And then you're going to give that a little line like that. So now it's going to it's going to match up now. And remember, you just fold it in half like this. You it's the cheat way. <laughs> and then you fold it. You start wide and go thin up to the envelope top. So like that. Now we'll give you like an even thing in there. And then here, you can do anything you want. You could leave it like this. Or what I, lo what I love, 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 love to do with my envelopes is fold it, fake fold, fake fold. Fold it like this. Now it's a fake fold, you guys. And then I go and I start from the wide end. Let me open this up so I don't cut that. I start from the wide end here. And then I just cut diagonally, giving it a pointed type envelope there. And you can go pointier. There's a square top on there now, but that's okay. And then look, there's your tip there of your envelope. And then you can go ahead and take one of your little things and put that in there. It could either, it could either, um, hold on, I'll show you. It could either slip through, so it's slipping through like that, or it could do the tuck thing like we did on here. All right, uh, if you're new to my channel, remember again, I am only doing these short videos because I'm pressed for time. I have an art show. It is in Kempton, Pennsylvania. If anyone is from Pennsylvania and would like to come out, it's just about, um, oh gosh, where, where, where? So if anyone knows where the Cabela's, the Cabela's hunting store is in Auburn, it's over near there, Kempton, um, Kempton, Pennsylvania. And it is Saturday the 20th. And if you follow me on the Facebook, I have Twisted Paper Studio. Now, don't follow the Kim Kardashian Twisted Paper Studio because somebody stole my page. And I, I'm not posting Kim Kardashian. But I do have a new one set up. And um, I did post on there. It's the spring pop-up and it's in my posts. And I will be posting it again there uh, for everyone who wants to see it again. Or who, if you're new, you know, go over and follow me on the Facebook Twisted Paper Studio. 
I also have a TikTok and I also have an Instagram. Um, and that's really it. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much. And um, I will see you guys again tomorrow, uh, which I have to do the videos. So don't mind me. I'm going to be crazy up all night long. Tomorrow will be day 60. And I'm going to do some segments. Um, I'm not going to bother with pictures. I'm not going to, I'm not doing that. So it'll be the same pictures for the next few days for the next headlines. I should be okay, uh, right around here because, um, my sister said she cleaned her studio for me. Can you believe it? She cleaned off everything for me to use her studio. And I'm going to go in there and I'll video you guys. She has nice, she's got fabric. <laughs> Although she has told me she has, everything is accounted for. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm going to joke with her, though, and be like, I'm packing my bags and leaving. See ya. <laughs> all right. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for commenting, joining, subscribing, saying hello. Um, I hope I inspire you, and I hope these inspire you. These uh, 12 kits are in my shop. There are tags. There are labels. There is a blue kit. There is a red kit. Um, I just, I love it so much. I haven't had time to play with any of my stuff. Hopefully, when I get back, we'll continue the way we did normally, and we will play, play, play. Blessings to you all. Have a good night.